Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Sunday, Sunday with Sam. How are you feeling, Sam? Good. Good, because grandkids are hard. I have to sleep in for an extra hour. If you are going about your day and you're thinking, oh man, this is such a hard day. This is, life is hard. Life is so hard. Go out there and get yourself some grandkids, bring them over. And when they go home, your life will be so easy. It will be so easy, be so relaxed and so calm. There'll be no mud, no mud puddles. There'll be no messes. I mean, there's still some messes. We have Sophie. But yeah, life is feeling easy today and calm today. I'm trying to get everything done, like all of our spring stuff. I'm washing all of our coats and all of our, putting away some of our boots and getting out our rain boots. And it's a, it's a spring cleaning day, guys. It's a spring cleaning day. But first, we're gonna go and I pick up something that Sam bought. So you guys know that Sam just randomly goes out there and buys stuff, doesn't even consult me, just buys them and says, hey, I'm going to pick up this and this and this. And sometimes it turns out and sometimes it does not turn out. But mostly it turns out, right? Yeah, I missed out on some jumps yesterday. You I'm missed out on some? minutes late. Oh man. Eight minutes late. What kind of jumps? Awkward jumps. I know, well, what they look like. Were they nice jumps? Oh man, because we could use some more jumps. But anyways, we're headed out to pick up something that Sam picked out for us. And so we're gonna get to, you guys are gonna get to see it at the same time I see it. So this is it, Sam bought barrels. So if he wants to kind of try and do some barrel racing and I don't know what we would use them for. This one needs to be painted, but he bought us some barrels. I love that he bought them. Always thinking about us. Yes, Dad. I think it's dead. I'm holding a dead bird. It must have just died. Wait, is it breathing? I can't tell. We found this. So Daisy has like her own spot that she goes to the bathroom. And we found this bird just dead there. Looks like it literally just died. I don't know. I feel it moving or something. I feel like weird... Sophie, come and get it out of my hand. What the heck? My first thought was, did Daisy kill it? Is it dead? Because I felt something. Is it dying? Do you feel it in the head? Its mouth is hanging open. Poor I bird. I don't want it to be dead, so I'll <laughs> rescue it. I don't want it to be dead either. <laughs> We're like loving on this dead bird. But if, uh, if Daisy killed it, there would be teeth marks somewhere. Yeah, like what is that a sign of? Is that a sign? I mean, apparently birds have been dropping dead everywhere. Really? Like a whole bunch of birds. Where? It's not on TikTok. I don't know, but a whole flock of birds just dropped dead. And only some survived. Well, that's scary. All right, well. It is springtime outside, you guys. And so I am, Sophie and I are going to try and clean up the coop. We've never had any mites or any kind of problems like that. We but we never overwintered chicken. chickens before. It's our first time ever overwintering them. So we want to keep them safe and good. So I'm going to clean out their chicken coop and give them all fresh bedding and get them ready for spring because it is almost springtime. So that was horrible. That was horrible. That was horrible backbreaking work. I'm not going to lie. Sophie, we got to get fresh food, honey. Fresh food for the babies. Now Sophie's going to make a nest for the dead bird. Are you because making? It needs to have its kind of Like what happens if it's still alive, you guys? Then we can rescue it because it could just be in a coma. Yeah, Sophie thinks that the bird could just be in a coma. So she found a bucket and she's going to. It's times like this when we get to foster the love of animals with your children that are alive that mean the most. All right. I put the dead bird Okay, so that is not a bucket we'll use again. Right. Maybe you should bury him a little so he's warm. You need to warm the dead bird. I mean, it needs to be There, a little nest. There, a little nest. Aww, he's so cute. Look away, you guys, if you're sensitive to, be, to die, dead or dying birds. Does it look like he moved? I think he's definitely dead found three eggs in the nest today. Two blue, look at how cute that one is. And one beige. So now that Sam and I have discovered that overwintering chickens isn't that hard, we decided that we're gonna revamp our whole chicken setup this year. Doesn't look like much, but that little baby 
what uh, has done such an amazing job for us, keeping our chickens safe, warm, and surra it's surrounded by trees and a little hill so that they don't get very much wind. It's it's raining, she needs to save the dead bird. While we, Sophie and I were cleaning the chicken coop, a package arrived and Sophie has been asked if, Sophie asked And my if, dog had a blue sucker and you didn't even know. It was like brand new, like it had a wrap on it too. Oh, cause your dog had blue whole feet. Paw was blue. Yeah, and we couldn't figure out why her feet were blue. It was a sucker. And did she like it? Yeah, she ate it. Oh. <laughs> or Daisy has it. Open it, sister. So Gabby's gonna open the brown box and then Gabby, Sophie's gonna open the rest. That's not fair. Come on, let's you do it. Like Our kids are like package freaks. If we get a package, they always gotta open it. Yeah, I always Like, do you that. even know what it is? It's an incubator. <laughs> so you already know what it is and you still need to open it. Yes. All right, so one brown box. There's two. All right, wow, it looks tiny. You don't even need a knife. Okay, yeah. let her open it, let her open it. Two Holy three. heck. All right, what is it, you guys? Pretend Gabby didn't just blurt it out. Pull it. Wow, look at look at Chewy Gum. All right. Look at Chewy Gum. This is it. Look at Chewy. Chewy is cute. What is Chewy? Oh, Chewbacca. It's not for you. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you got a dead bird in your poop station, though. Okay, so there's the top. That's the top. Hey, you said I could. Oh, it's weird. Don't take it all apart. Oh, good lord. We have to like set it all to up. What is that? Actual heck. That's is a bag to carry it in. That's a bag to carry it in. What the heck? Uh-oh, you're losing pieces. Look, at that's the battery. Oh, well. What is this? Okay, This looks so cheap. It did not look like this on... Can I have this? Every time I buy an incubator off of Amazon... Uh-oh, I bet you this thing is a part of it. Yeah. I don't even know. Where are we supposed to set this up? All right, Gabby! <laughs> Put this thing together. Okay. <laughs> How old are you turning? You can also go this way. <laughs> yeah, this is what real life is like, you guys. Gabby in a box. You've heard of Jack in a box? Well, this is Gabby in a box. I think this is even a part of it, but maybe not. I All think right, it is, you. though, because this is where you candle the eggs. Sam made a chicken and rice for supper. It's Gabby's favorite meal. And Gabby actually put together our, incuba our incubator. It's 30 degrees. It has an egg candler here so that we can... Actually, how do you change the... It's actually pretty cool, you guys. 78 humidity, which is a lot. So I'm going to have to empty out some of this water because we're going to put new eggs in here. So also, it has an automatic... Um, rolling thing like it turns the eggs every two hours which is super cool I love it Gabby did it she put it together for me you know how you're married and your husband does like all the hard stuff like build stuff and put stuff together well that was my life before we had Gabby now that we have Gabby she puts everything together for us and the reason I like that is because Gabby does it and doesn't complain yeah way better than a man so I only wanted 12 eggs I got some fertilized eggs from my friends. I'm like, that's a rooster. That is a rooster. So I told my friend, pick like an assortment of eggs, small ones. Like, look at, maybe we'll get some, a little baby. Before uh, my dog eats some. What are those little black, what are those little white ones? Um. Anyway, maybe we'll get some little tiny baby ones and little tiny chickens. Anyway, I told him I can only handle 12 because I have the roller and the roller, like this thing will roll the eggs every two hours and it's so cool. No, I think this rolls it. No, this whole thing rolls it. So my friend said you have to do them all. So the plan is that we're gonna try and incubate them all. These are warm. <laughs> we're gonna try and incubate them all and then we're gonna candle them in five days. We're going to candle them in five days. I'm going to turn them manually. Don't try and move them around that much. And then whatever ones are viable, I will put the roller back in after five days. So that is the plan. Because you never know how many are going to be viable. The two little baby ones. 
I love little chickens. Little bantams, but I think these are, um, I don't even know what they are. Yes, we know. So the thing beeps if it gets too hot or if it gets too cold. So I'm going to put it on now. These are our eggs. These are our potential new babies. So wish us luck. Tell them, uh, did the baby bird that you thought might be in a coma, did it survive? No. Was it actually she dead? She thought it was in yeah. a coma. She thought she it was. Th with I said its it neck broken? I, I said well, you never like, know. You never know, you guys. It could have been in a coma. When One time. In a coma, it looks like you're sleeping. When my mom died, uh, there was a chance that she could have brain damage, and we had to vote to turn off the machines, and the doctor said that she was going to have brain damage. But you never know, you guys. You never know. And the whole family, except for one sister, voted to turn off the machines, and we never knew. And so I side with Sophie. You never know. I always believe in miracles, and you should believe in miracles, too. She wanted to try and save a bird that looked like it was dead, and she needed time to figure out if it was dead on her own. And I'm glad she had that time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that